Hey guys, Vertus Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Beginner's Tutorial Series and in today's episode we're going to be going over how you can use Blueprint hey classes. Guys, so in the previous episode I went over an introduction to Blueprints, the fundamentals and creating your very first script. However this time I want to show you how to isolate them and reuse them. So if uh, I go into my scene here you can see I've got the little light we made in the previous episode and when I walk in and out of it it toggles it on and off. However However, what I'm going to show you now is I've made a blueprint class out of that and I can keep dragging that into the scene and I can have more than one of them and this can be used on multiple levels. Instead of being, uh, instead of being um, pretty much just the one instance and that's stored in the uh, level blueprint. So let's go ahead and open it up and have a look what we've got here. So inside of my blueprint class we've got a few different components the same as we do in the level blueprint. You can see here in the top left in the components panel we've got a box collision and a point light which is exactly the same and then if I go to my event graph you can see I've got begin overlap and then I've got the toggle visibility command and I've just got that hooked up to the uh, point light so let me just go ahead and uh, delete these and we're going to show you how to create your own blueprint class so I'm just going to go ahead and delete and get rid of that so in your content browser just right click and press uh, create basic asset and go to blueprint class. Once you've done that you can choose a different, uh, a couple different types. Um, for now I'm just going to worry about an actor, uh, I'm going to explain the others in later tutorials. So just go ahead and click actor. Once you've done that just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call this uh, toggle light and then I'm going to double click on it and now we've got our blank canvas. So from here we need to start adding in our components. So to add a new component go to the top left and press add component, go to point light and then we're just going to call this uh, light. And there we go, that's all done. Okay, now from here we can adjust the settings for this light and it's going to uh, transfer over to uh, however many instances of this light that you have. So if I go ahead and drag in two of the toggle light uh, classes here and move them up, you can see they've both got white lights at the moment and if I change the color of that, if I change it to something like a classy pink, something like you'd find in a strip club, it goes to pink. And there we go. Um, we can play around with a whole bunch of other different settings but I don't want to go over that now, I'm just going to show you pretty much how you can do this stuff. So the next component I want to show you how to make is a box collision. So if you keep fo uh, scrolling down here and just look through the different types of components you can add in here and eventually you will find something for box collision. So you've got box collision, capsule collision and then sphere collision. So I'm just going to go with box and I'm going to click on that and using the transformation tools over here just go ahead and press uh, scale, um, just press R for that and then just scale it all around just to make sure you've got plenty of room. And you can see in the world here, in our viewport, you can actually see it scaling along with it, which is great. So I'm just going to make it go up that way, that way a little bit, and now when they walk in it, it should be all good. So not only have we got components in our blueprint class, we've also got the event graph. And this is specific to this uh, blueprint class. It's not generic. It doesn't it's not universally spread like in the uh, the level blueprint. So this time we're going to use uh, actor begin overlap. As you can see here, we've actually been given us a little starter for that, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click. Uh, so we're going to click here. So the event actor begin overlap. Let's just go ahead and uh, type in toggle visibility, and that's going to be for our light. There you go. And there we go, if we drag this down it should all work like that now. Um, so what we do need to do is put the other actor in actor begin overlap. So for that, for us that's going to be our box. So if we hook this up in there, sorry I'll that in the other way so I'm just check it's going to work for you. Press play, if we walk into one of these lights now they should turn on and off, there we go. Um, because we uh, actually use the presets we don't actually have to hook up the box to this. Um, but as you can see now, we've now got our blueprint classes and we can drag them around, put them in as many as we want to, and uh, they work perfectly fine. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for blueprint classes. Just play around with it, uh, try around, try play around with different components you've got. Um, but that's everything. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.